Proverbs 4 verses 1 to 27 here. Ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. 2. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. 3. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. For he taught me also, and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. 5. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. 6. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. 7. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting get understanding. 8. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee, she shall bring thee to honor, when thou dost embrace her. 9. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. 10. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. 11. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. 12. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. 13. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go, keep her, for she is thy life. 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. 15. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. 18. But the path of the just is as the shining light, that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. 19. The way of the wicked is as darkness, they know not at what they stumble. 20. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. 21. Let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart. 22. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. 24. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. 25. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. 26. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. 27. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Opening Sentence Proverbs 4 verses 1 to 2 here, Ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. 2. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Ye children are being addressed for the first time, which is a notable change. This indicates that Proverbs is not simply addressed to a particular son, but to a nation of people that God claims as his children. When the Bible says, Every word of God is pure, Proverbs 30 verse 5, and man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God, Luke 4 verse 4, that is exactly what is to be believed. This includes the word children. By comparing scripture with scripture, we understand the meaning of ye children, as the seed of Israel or the children of Jacob. Ye children are addressed four times in the book of Proverbs. See Proverbs 4,1, 5,7, 7,24 and 8,32. Finding the theme. Proverbs 4 verse 1 to 23. Good doctrine and the right path. All scripture is given by God. When the writer of Proverbs says, I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. It is understood that God is the speaker because it is his doctrine and his law. However, God is not only the Father, but he is also God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 4 verses 3 to 4 For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. For he taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Verse 3 indicates a change in speakers from the father speaking to the children, to the son speaking of himself when the writer said, I was my father's son. By comparing scripture with scripture, the identity of the beloved son becomes apparent. Jesus is the beloved son, and God is his father. Proverbs 4 verse 3 is only one of many verses that emphasize the oneness of Jesus and the father. The fact that Jesus is God does not mean that he had no need to be taught by the Father. What saith the scripture? 
Luke 2 verse 52 and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Hebrews 5 colon 8, though he were a son yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. When the son left heaven to become a man, he knew he could fully trust in the promises made to him by God. Titus 1 verse 2. This enabled him to endure the suffering of the cross because he had perfect faith in the Father. Psalms confirms this truth many times over. The following Psalms speak of Jesus, the Son of God, who died on the cross, and who was not left in the grave to see corruption. It was Jesus who walked through the valley of the shadow of death when he suffered on the cross for all mankind. Psalm 16 verse 7, I will bless the Lord, who hath given me counsel, Psalm 16.10 For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou, God, suffer thine Holy One, Jesus, to see corruption. Psalm 23.4 Yea, though I, Jesus, walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou, God, art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, his word, they comfort me. Proverbs chapter 4 is a record of the counsel of God to one, his son, Jesus to two his son, the rulers of Israel, and to three his children, all the people of the nation of Israel. Wisdom, the words of God's mouth. Proverbs 4 verses 5 to 9 Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Six forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. Seven wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting get understanding. 8. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee, she shall bring thee to honor, when thou dost embrace her. 9. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. In Proverbs, wisdom is figuratively portrayed as a woman. She is like a mother who nourishes her son with the milk of the word. Proverbs 1 verses 20 to 23. Proverbs 8. Isaiah 66 verse 11, 1 Peter 2 verse 2. She is also figuratively portrayed as a sister and a wife which the son is to pursue. This theme will be further developed in chapter 5. How can wisdom be portrayed as a sister, wife and mother? This is only possible because God is spiritual, and the words of his mouth are spiritual. Therefore wisdom is spiritual and intangible. Satan has corrupted and perverted this portrayal of a female by introducing his counterfeit version. She takes the form of pagan goddesses. She is the strange woman, the harlot of scripture, and she is the world system that seduces men to follow her false doctrine. The way of wisdom and the right paths. Proverbs 4 verses 10 to 13 Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. 11. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. 12. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. 13. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go, keep her. For she is thy life. A choice between two paths was clearly laid before the nation of Israel. God taught them the way of wisdom through the law of Moses and he told Israel that they would not stumble if they walked in his way. Wisdom is their life. In Deuteronomy 8, 1, All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers. The way of the wicked and the path of destruction. Proverbs 4, verses 14 to 17 Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. 15. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. God warned his children against choosing the way of evil men. Isaiah 59, 7. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. Bread and Wine The topic of bread and wine arc introduced here in association with the wicked and evil men. Wine is encountered throughout the scriptures and has a variety of symbolism associated with it, both good and evil. 
In the book of Proverbs, bread and wine can be a blessing from God or a trap of Satan. A mature and faithful son will be able to discern between which is good and which is evil. Deuteronomy 30 verse 15 c. I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Psalm 34 colon 14 depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. Hebrews 5 14 but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Bread is associated with the word of God and his good doctrine, but it can also be associated with Satan and his evil doctrine. Matthew 16.12 Then understood they how that Jesus bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. John 6.33-35 For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. 34 Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. 35 And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. The path of the just versus the way of the wicked. Proverbs 4 verses 18 to 19 But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. 19 The way of the wicked is as darkness, they know not at what they stumble. The right path is associated with light, but the wicked way is associated with darkness and stumbling. The word stumble has been repeated twice in this chapter, and it was also used in the previous chapter. Proverbs 3.23 Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Proverbs 4.12 When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. The wicked ark those children of Israel who refuse to believe every word of God, and therefore they will indeed stumble. Conclusion, final instructions for the son. Proverbs 4 verses 20 to 27 My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. 21 Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. 22. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. 24. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. 25. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. 26. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. 27. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. God reminds his son that his words are life and must be safely guarded within his inner man. If his heart is pure, no froward or perverse words will proceed from his mouth. The son must look right on, which means to be sober-minded. By pondering the path that he chooses, the son will be established in all his ways. The law of Moses gives similar instructions. Deuteronomy 5.32 Ye shall observe to do therefore as the Lord your God hath commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Summary Two ways are being plainly set forth in the book of Proverbs. God's Son has been instructed how to walk in the path of righteousness according to the law of Moses. In order for the Son to choose the right path, he must receive and believe God's word. Believing every word of God is the overarching theme of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Dispensational Consideration Doctrine is not a bad word, but it can become confusing when doctrine meant for Israel is applied to the church today. God gave doctrine to Israel in the law of Moses. Believers living in the dispensation of grace are not under the law. Romans 6 verse 14 God gave doctrine to the Apostle Paul for the church of the current dispensation, which is his body, Romans 6 verse 17, Ephesians 1 verses 22 to 23, Colossians 1 verse 24, and it is found in the letters of Romans through Philemon. When doctrine for Israel is blended together with doctrine for the body, it causes confusion. Wisdom comes from the word of God in every dispensation. But the word must be rightly divided for it to work effectually in the believer's life. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 It is possible for a saved believer to walk in the paths of wicked men. 
The carnal Corinthians were saved believers who were committing shameful sins. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 1, 5 verse 1, 11 colon 5, yet they were sealed with the Spirit and could not lose their salvation. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 22, Ephesians 1 verse 13, Paul corrected them with the word of God, and they repented with godly sorrow. 2 Corinthians 7 verses 9 to 10. In Paul's letter to the Romans, we learn that Israel did indeed stumble due to unbelief, just as God had warned them repeatedly in the law of Moses and in the book of Proverbs, Romans 9.32, wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone, Romans 11.11-12, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their false salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. 12. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness! Israel did not stumble for the purpose that they should fall, yet they did fall, and they continue to be diminished in today's dispensation, no longer possessing that blessed status they once enjoyed. However, after the body of Christ, which is predominantly made up of Gentiles, is raptured up to heaven, God will turn back to Israel and fulfill all the promises made to his nation. Romans 11, 26, 29, 26, And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, There shall come out of Shaun the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. 29, For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. Life Application The identity of a saved believer living in the dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians 3 verse 2, is that of sons of God. Saved believers are already blessed, forgiven, possessors of eternal life, and walking in the way of righteousness in Christ due to belief in His word, according to the wisdom that was revealed to the Apostle Paul. No one in the body of Christ will ever stumble because Christ will never stumble. Proverbs 5.18 Let thy fountain be blessed, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. In chapter 5, the son must choose between the wife of his youth and the strange woman. Proverbs chapter 4 Homework Concordance Search Use Blue Letter Bible to look for the term ye children in all the books of the Bible written prior to Proverbs. Read and study how the term is used in context to determine who is being addressed. Note, the words ye and you are always plural in a King James Bible. The words thee and thou are always singular. When modem Bibles translate ye to you, it causes confusion because in modern English you can be singular or plural. The King James Bible is perfect and should not be changed. Note, Jesus, the Son of God in the flesh, had an earthly mother, Mary, Matthew 1 verse 18, Acts 1 verse 14. It should never be said that Mary is the mother of God. This is blasphemous because God is the uncreated creator who is from everlasting. Psalm 90 verse 2. Concordance search. Who is the beloved son? By searching for the phrase my beloved son, you will be able to determine the identity of who is speaking in Proverbs 4 verse 3. Cross references. There are many verses that demonstrate that the father and the son are one. See John 14 verse 9 and 17 11, and 1 John 5 verse 7. Concordance search the phrase, bread and wine, are found mentioned together three times exactly in Blue Letter Bible. The words bread and wine are found independently in 22 verses. To discover the use of the symbolism attached to wine, try combing the word wine with the following list of words and study them in context wrath, spirit, drunk, cheer, blessing, fornication, offering, and joy. Record your findings in your notes. Concordance Search Use Bible Gateway to search for all forms of the word pervert, such as perverteth, perverse, perverseness, etc. This will shed light on all the ways that the adversary has corrupted the truth of God and counterfeited his wisdom. Concordance Search your search for the mystery in the previous chapter can be sorted into three categories. 1. Jesus revealed the mystery of the kingdom to his twelve apostles regarding Israel. You may also search for mysteries of the kingdom that fall into this category. Paul's epistles speak of the mystery, 
more than any other biblical writings, because God kept a secret until he revealed it to Paul. Paul also wrote about a distinct mystery of iniquity that is operating in today's dispensation, which is opposed to the mystery of godliness revealed to Paul in 3. The book of Revelation contains mysteries that deal with the seven-year tribulation and the fulfillment of God's promises to the nation of Israel. Concordance Search, Sons of God, is a term applied in Israel's kingdom program and in the Apostle Paul's revelation of the mystery. It is also applied to heavenly creatures. The use of the term Son of God is used to identify those among God's creation who believe and obey the Word of God. Search for the phrase Son of God and Sons of God to study this topic for yourself. Thank you.